I'm here in Yafo. Beautiful view. And I have a special story for you today to tell you about Eva Samuel, the artist. I want to show you her work so you can learn more about her. Her name in Hebrew is Chava Samuel. She did very important paintings. Let's see them in the book. This is her picture. Let me just change hands. I'm doing it all with a phone. Not professional, candid, just to bring to you, to your knowledge, some of the information that I have here and some of the samples for your review and appreciation. One day I, I hope to open a museum over here and you'll see it on display. This is her work, Asuan, from Switzerland. Many images from Israel. Elijah goes to the sky. I think from Jaffa. European views. This is Jaffa, where I am. This is Rishon Lezion. This is a family in Passover time. This is another view from Europe. This is Akko. You can see she traveled the country. She went to many places. That's uh, Lake Como. This is Emek Arden, Jordan Valley. This is horses and riders. Magan Michael and the Jordan Valley again with a horse or a donkey. And Gev, Tiberius, other views. I want to show you a drawing of her sister. Her name is Edith Samuel. Remember the name? You're going to see a clip about her later on. She is very, very famous for the doll making. Maybe the most important doll maker in Israel that used to live here in Israel. She also came from Germany. And as her sister became the most important ceramic and the first lady of ceramic, she was the first lady of doll makers. Let's take a look at the drawing, which was also very impressive, very hard to get them. This must be up where you can see the buildings on the hill. I know some of the people who walk over here. I can, I'm just kidding. I don't know them, but this looks like Yafa to me. This looks like the Galilee. You can see the mountain behind. It was done in 1981. Here is a signature. And this is a man with a donkey and a lady behind him. And here you can see the images, sculptures that she has done. You can see this man, the flute player over here. This was done from a mold. She made a plaster mold and she made many pieces and then she decorated them and put them in the oven. Her first, her first factory called Hayotzer. The second one was called Kat Basefel in Rishon Lutzion. She lived over 40 years. This is not her work, by the way. This was made by Pal Ceramic Studio. You can see it's different from her work, where this one has much more details in it. The eyes, the mouth, the cloth, and hers is more subtle. She did Arabs. With immigrants and anybody who lived at that time in this in the country of Israel colorful things you can see this Arab woman it has a signature behind it Fed Samif you can see the signature also over here Fed Samif also she has Rishon Lezion and Eva Samuel and sometimes you can see the logo of Kat Vasemel, the symbol of Vase, right over here. On this table I have the most impressive vase. You can see a man holding a lion that is attached to a horse. I'll turn it around for you. There's a horse over here and a rider. A masterpiece over here and a man running behind it, trying to stop them.
beauty, right? Here you can see a chicken, a bird. I have no idea what it is, but you can get impressed with this. And here this has a vase with a fish, a very, very, very big fish. This side of it has a big brown fish, and this side has another brown fish, and they're slightly, slightly different because one is a female and one is a male, and they're trying to meet and kiss, a fish kiss. This is a bird over here, in a ceramic dish, and in, in a cereal dish, I guess some of the items she made was for everyday use. Naturally, many of her items broke, and it's very hard to find them. This is also a small dish for flowers. This one is a very big one. It has geometric design. Next to it, I have a small one, also geometric design. This one must have been the masterpiece from which she made the mold, the plaster mold from which she did the menorah, and then she put an imprint on them. This was not her work, too much details, not her style either. This is a small vase with a bird on it. Sometimes the material that they got was not good, and this is what the result. Things fell apart after so many years, and it has to be fixed. This was made by her partner, Mira Libs, also a famous artist on her own right. And I want to show you the book that came out from Museum Rishon Lezion, Homer Minaruach, a very important exhibition that took place two years ago. You can see the cover has a simple vase over here, and we can get, take a look at the items that she made. Let's take a look. This is one thing that she made. A tile, a big piece. She made also public items, for example this one, in memory of the fallen soldiers huge piece. It is two and a half meter by three meters long. It's about nine feet by nine feet. This is the models that uh, she used to prepare to make this big masterpiece. And this was made to show the education. It was in a cultural building on the name of Gordon. Also very big size, maybe a uh, nine feet or three meters by four meter huge and beautiful that's also the model that she made and you can see here on the right hand side is the masterpiece from which she made the plaster just like i had the menorah before and this is the piece that was copied from this masterpiece this is also images she had a very difficult living, uh, making uh, money from all these things. She sold everything, but again, it wasn't uh, that much money. This is also the masterpiece from which she made, uh, she made the mold. This item is similar to my vase. It has an animal, simpler than mine though. This one is like my smaller one with a bird, it has a different flower, a figure on it. This has a dish also with a bird, different bird. Take a look. This is a very famous artwork. It's in a winery, Rishon Lotzion, and you can see how they made the wine. They collected the grapes, they schlepped it to the winemaking place, and then they processed it to make a wine bottle. A big masterpiece. This place is also for the farming. It was in Bank Leumi, in Rishon Le Tzion. She made it in 1956. Huge piece, two and a half meters by two and a half meters, about eight feet by eight feet. This is a small piece, just like my smaller pieces over here, that uh, shows people who collect oranges. This she made for her sister, the doll maker, Edith Samuel, who bought. These people were building homes, carpenters. 
small and beautiful tile that shows how to live the time in Israel. Also images from that period, camels. Very colorful, very beautiful. This is the fisherman. I have that sample in New York. I also have the music man or the music band in New York. I don't have it over here in Yafo, unfortunately, to show it to you. Let me show you the piece. It's in the book. This one with the accordion. This is her work. I hope one day to have it displayed in a major museum for the greatest Israeli artists to share with the future generations. I want to thank you for watching. Here she is with Mira Lips. Here she is working. She died in 1989. I want to thank you again from Yafo. Thank you very much and enjoy the weekend. Bye.